Cortex has three key parts for a simple creative workflow, documents, chats, and sources. Documents are where you write project outlines, articles, book chapters, batches of social posts, study notes, or anything else you would write in your typical word processor or note-taking app. Now chats, chats have two functions, and the first is to text yourself ideas. Because most people jot down ideas in this long running note that they eventually forget about or just can't, they can't find their ideas. So you can type at or plus inside of a chat to connect your ideas to a specific document. If you're writing a book, you can capture ideas specific to each chapter so they don't get lost and open those ideas as you write. And the same holds true for something like taking a note. You can create a document for the note you want to take, leave it blank, and then go into a chat and just text the ideas as you're researching that thing or taking notes. And then with Kai or Cortex AI, you can just ask it to summarize that entire chat and then you can put it in the document so you have the fleshed out notes. And that streamlines your creative process and leads into the second function of chats, which is Cortex AI. Kai is your creative sparring partner. When you press tab, Kai is now enabled and will respond to you. It takes the entire chat into context to give you accurate answers. And when you type at or plus, you can now ask questions to the documents or sources in your workspace. Now, one cool thing here is that you can paste the link to a YouTube video and it will automatically be added as a source. From there, you can ask it questions to extract knowledge from the video. How powerful this is is really up to your imagination. If you want to take a document where you have how to write a newsletter and pair that with a YouTube video or two YouTube videos or another source that you pulled in highlights from from your Kindle, and merge those all together into the newsletter or for research, there's so much you can do with this. As you're taking notes, writing content, or generating ideas, enable Kai and ask it questions rather than opening another tab to search Google. Kai can help with almost any questions you have. Now after chats comes sources. First, you can connect with Readwise to import all of your highlights from Kindle or any other place on the web. You can drag in PDFs to read, highlight, and reference as you write. While you're writing, you can backlink to other documents or sources by typing at. And this creates interconnected writing. It organizes your notes and makes connected ideas that you wouldn't normally find in a hierarchical folder-based structure findable. So you can open and reference those fast in the pane system in Cortex. So you have everything in view at once as you're writing, note-taking, or just researching. Now let's run through a quick example so we can tie everything together. So let's imagine we're writing a newsletter or a book chapter or an article. So there's two steps here, usually, which is to create an outline and write the draft. To create an outline, you would just create a new document and then this is where elements come into play. So elements are little organizational blocks that you can name. So let's keep this simple. Let's create a topic ideas element, a research element, and an outline element. And here's an example of another template for social posts. I created batch elements and post elements to keep things organized. You can also do this for your note taking or if you're planning your day and want to structure your goals and tasks. And now when it's time to write, I can create a new document as as a plain draft and open my outline in a new pane so they are side by side. And as another quick tip, I can also open elements independently in a pane if I don't want to scroll a lot. And now I can open up chats and I can talk to Kai as a creative sparring partner to both fill out my outline and guide me as I write my draft. So that is the very, very general workflow. Outline with elements, use documents for writing, use chats to capture ideas and use Kai as a creative sparring partner, and use sources to store external knowledge. And you synthesize all of those with connections, Kai, and just the workspace of Cortex. And the best thing here is that all base features are free for Cortex when you sign up. It's free for personal use. We only bill based off of AI usage and storage usage. And when you sign up, we'll send you a prompt library and a planning template and a social media post template and everything you need to know to get started, even more than you learned in this video. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy Cortex.